Uh, my name is Olive Smith and I am from Seattle, Washington and I came to Dharamsala to do a study abroad program uh, on Tibetan studies. Well, um, one, I think they just want land and power because uh, uh, Tibet is close to the Indian um, border. I think that plays a role in um, they've already started going into Ladakh. Um, previously they did that before, but now they're doing it again, more extensively. And there's been um, you know, like a backlash about that. But also, I just think that um, it's a lot about power and manipulation and resources that they can um, just by saying that Tibet is part of China, they can just go and assume all these resources and do things the way they want to do. Um, things and kind of reap the benefits with not really paying any consideration to the Tibetan people. Especially when the United States um, is like very dependent on China and I think the world has become really dependent on China and I think everyone is too scared to make a move because um, they don't know like how that will affect um, their relationships with China. And I think it's also like, it's just easier not to do anything for people. Like it's, it's, I think it's like takes a lot of courage and a lot to stand up and like say something or do something and try and change things. But I think it's a, a lot easier for people who aren't as directly affected just to be like, well, I know this is going on, but I don't know what to do about it. And to kind of like take the easier route out and not. I think the media in the United States covered immolations, and like I was aware of it. We talked about it in school, but not as extensively. And I think it was like I didn't. No one really had. The, I didn't have a really big understanding or like a, a well-rounded picture. It was just kind of like snippets of like this is what's going on, but I wasn't able to contextualize it. Um. I try to think it's because it's uh, why I like to take back the yak um, image is because it it's to me it's like about like the smaller people in the struggle who are not like people who are in to the politics of it and who but like the people who have who are just trying to live their daily lives and all of a sudden they have that taken out from underneath them and I think that like in any struggle it's those are always the people who are kind of like. Um, helped last, like it's always like the focus is not on kind of the little people and I think that that's um, really unfortunate because they um, are like the people with the least voice and the people who need the most help because they aren't able always to help themselves and I think that it's important that like, I don't know, that people kind of restructure how they think about problems and that you help the people who need the most help first. Um, It'll come up in more conversations with people that I'm more intimate with and more or like closer with, and I think that um, that'll be a really good way for me to like begin branching out and having conversations about um, the issues in Tibet and my experiences um, living in a Tibetan community and what I think of the situation um, and kind of like build up more confidence and um, become more comfortable like taking kind of like an ally stance in that and generating conversation and kind of like spreading and I think from there then um, like the more practice I get at that then the more I can kind of continue and take that out to people that I don't know as well or that sort of thing. Well that's my reason that I think it's like that like to me represents like part of like the Tibetan nomads are a part of like people in society that are like create the foundation for Tibetan society and like hold it up and I think that like that's why I think it's like it's similar to like the thigh like which holds up the legs and your torso and like the larger stronger parts of your body but like you also don't forget that like your thighs are really strong too and like keep you like going that's like your driving force like when you're walking is like through your legs and like mm. even though you can do a lot of stuff with your body that you can't do with you know your upper part of your body that you can't do with your legs it's still like your legs kind of like take you there for a lot of it and provide a lot of um 
I just think that like the world needs like one thing that's frustrating to me is a lot of people don't see see issues like in places like Tibet or any other situation as something that doesn't affect them, but I think it really does in a large scale, even if it's not like personally affecting you, I think it affects like the world you live in and like the atmosphere of um just like how and like how countries interact with people. Are. Are you comfortable? Always. Okay. Cool, man. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, if you have so much muscle there, it's gonna be fine. Yeah. Woo! Ha! Why is stay calm and breathe in and outside slowly, slowly. Om Shanti, Om Shanti. <laughs> So I'm going to make it in the white this day. Yeah. Because it looks like in the mountain. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is finished. Oh, so it's finished? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Light up. Light up. Light up.